guys in this video it's a 2001 bmw 740 il e38 i think um, a lot of people have been having issues trying to connect to the ps soft 1.4 scanner uh, tool that you get from me it's like or ebay or amazon for 30 bucks so this tool came in and then i tried connecting it since i don't i did a ls swap so i don't have the 20 pin connector inside of the hood anymore so i wanted to connect to the ike uh, because i wanted to change my some sort of settings with the temperature gauge the way it operates with the new engine with the chevy engine that i have but this should work i think with the regular cars too you may be not you may not be able to scan some of the modules so this is what i did right now if it if it does not work this is what you need to do first i'm gonna explain the way it does not work however you know you can i just pulled this out i was doing something you know i just pulled out the obd2 i did not add anything else so i just connected my scanner i took all this off it already comes with pin number seven eight soldered which are this side this one these are the other ones i did explain later seven eight it already soldered so already, so if it, if this is how it comes in it's not gonna pick it up you know it's gonna i fired up the software bmw scanner i will turn on my car i mean my to ignition two so it's ignition two watch you guys gonna see it's gonna fail it's not gonna connect see hardware not ready or if you try to do scan it's gonna say hardware not ready okay or if you go to scanner hardware not ready but there's a way around it there's a way around it i'm gonna let my knees hold my laptop so if let me turn this off so if if you guys so what, what I did is I ran this wire behind the white connector, pin number one, which is a white and purple wire. In reference to uh, Todd Smith's video, I watched his videos. You know, he has helped me out a lot with my swap. I watched his videos and then I ran a wire. As you can see, this this red wire goes, it spliced into the, let me see if I can show you guys, pull it out. I'll just pull my thing out. Okay, so you guys can see. See, I spliced in this into this red, and, I mean white and purple wire. I spliced this in so I can connect it to the OBD2. That's that. So what you wanna do is, you wanna connect this wire back of pin eight of your OBD2, which is an empty one. Let me do this and then I'll show you guys. If I can. I just ran this wire behind pin pin number eight of the OBD2, OBD2 right here. It's, it's an empty wire, I just snuck in a wire right here. Now, if we connect this. So now I connected this wire back of my pin eight on the OBD2. Make sure it's connected properly. It's, you know, it's making contact with the, the scanner tool, okay? From this red wire comes from the pin white. Uh, it's a white and purple wire spliced in. To make a connection right now i will fire up my scanner turn to signal key ignition two watch this watch the magic see it's reading it's gonna come up with the information like everything all these options into my card this is how you get into the ike i mean into the system now we will start scanning let's see what kind of what, uh, let's see what kind of modules it will read. It does not read the DME because I did an engine swap, LS swap, so I, I'm not using the BMW engine anymore. It's going to go through all these different modules. EGS, it's not going to pull up. EWS, it pulls up. Okay, ABS, AC, like whatever it's there, it's going to pull up. It's going to sh start showing you the errors or whatnot. IKE, LCM. everything that it needs like it will start pulled up you know 
So this is how, like, maybe you need the eight, a twenty pin connector. Yeah, you can see, like, it's 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 making it's scanning through a lot of the different modules and pages. So I think in order for you to um, scan each and every module, you may need the twenty pin connector inside of the hood. Since I don't have that anymore, I only needed to make access. I only needed to access IKE part of the system. I was able to do that with this trick. You know, if this does not come soldered, like this will come soldered uh, pin seven and eight. But if it doesn't, you need to do, I will show you back of it, I think four and five and two and three. Just try, but try this trick first. Yeah, like I think let it scan and then it's gonna stop scanning, I think. Let me, let's, let's go to the EWS power on reset. Okay, close this. ABS. Uh, IKE. Uh, LCM. All this stuff will start coming up. You can go to like different. Um, like different monitors of the thing. like whatever you want to scan like you know with yeah so i just i just stopped the sensor yeah so this is this is how you scan things you know this is hopefully it helps out somebody yeah that's all guys like i will go to the ike if i go to units so this is how you, if you want to make changes to something, you go to units and then select whichever one, IKE, and then, then I'm then click on reprogramming. No. Coding data, and then recoding. So I can just, I could check right here, you know, like whatever things that I want to check out and then see how things go, you know. Like, let's say I want to, since I need to mess with the uh, tachometer, I'm going to start seeing, like, you know, what I could do or whatnot, you know. So I'm going to write that code. takes a little bit of time see then your computer your car will kind of reset or whatnot yeah see I made changes to the four cylinder cylinder account engine change it back to the thing you can do a lot of things in this program but yeah this is all guys thank you hopefully you watch hopefully it helps out somebody